Good morning. Um, today, we are going to be taking a higher level subject, university and polytechnic uh, students, is for this. Um, thermodynamics, the recording course, and the linear mama called constant volume process. Constant volume process, but go volume here were constant. Now, this is majorly possible in a closed uh, system. Cannot have been a closed system. System to work closed. Tafuni boundary. To the queen can call it a crochet one no boundary. Now, a very good example of uh, that kind of closed system in engineering is an uh, internal combustion uh, engine. It's uh, what they call internal combustion engine. And uh, it always have a piston, collecting rod, which they're uh, moving a cylinder that uh, there will be fluid there. The fluid can either be petrol, it can be, it can be, yeah, it can be anything. So the most important thing is that there will be a fluid there. And when I'm talking of fluid, we are getting more play solid and uh, liquid that be gas in the Montreal as well because anything that's capable of flowing, we want to play fluid. Now, in this uh, isochronic process, in a in a number of ways, I process in a closed system. Hmm? In a closed system, uh, if the volume is kept constant, based on the first law of uh, thermodynamics, in a closed system, U is equal to uh, Q is equal to U plus W. Whereas Q is equal to the heat, U is the internal energy, and then W is the work done. Now, like I told you, I'll be making use of uh, internal combustion engine as our flow system for the day. Let me have that one as my piston, this one is my collecting rod, and this is the fluid again. The fluid can be liquid, it can be gas, it can be air, it can be anything. Now, in this case, if there is Tabama keep volume or constant, Omi pe piston yo ni move rara. Taba fe ki volume of fluid to wan bi bai. Ko wa constant. Fluid yo ni move rara. And when something does not move, there is no work done. That means the work done in that system is zero. Because based on the kotati koni ba ti an she physics in the secondary school. What is of wan pe? Taba push in kan. Taba exact force lori in kan. Ti force in yo ba cause in kan la ti move. Ti force in yo ba ti generate movement. Then that means the work done is, uh, is zero. So, come you pay, work done will be zero. And that one will be, going back to this uh, previous equation of first law, Q will now be equals to theta U. And that will be what? Q will be equals to U2 minus U1. That is, if that process is going to be from stage one to stage two, come you pay, it's going to be U2, to, uh, U2 minus U1. And go voila, my pay U. The expression of this change in internal energy will now be given as uh, U2 minus U1 will be equals to what? Cv delta theta, that is uh, Cv delta theta, which is also what? Cv T2 minus T1. And Cv, that also requires the specific heat capacity at constant volume. And that will be what? 0.798 jo, kilojoule per kilogram per Kelvin. And you can as well see that it is 718 jo per kilogram per Kelvin. Let you get to that. Now, go she my long here. Now, that means in this case, our Q now will be equal to what? Cv T2 minus T1. Hmm? Now, to buy a quick gas, it will include to one new closed system, you know, internal combustion engine, to buy a quick perfect gas in it, and to buy the air. Now, that means, when the perfect gas, based on this, uh, based on this IV gas equation, that you call the secondary school, because of the PV is equal to what? MROT. Hmm? Now, this P will now be pressure. Abi? Yeah, not here, sorry. Now, based on the, if the something is a perfect gas, so sorry, the, and, and the volume is kept constant, then it means that P1 over V1, P1 over T1, will be equal to 
A2 over CT. So now, if that is the case, then we can say that uh, it also it will also follow this uh, it will also follow this uh, equation to MRT. Whereas Q will be what pressure. Sorry for missing my lines. R is uh, gas constant, and that one is always given as uh, what 0 0.287 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin. That's a 287 joule per kilogram per kelvin. So that's it. So now, think about the work room there. We can now say that uh, um, um, another thing, we need to give account of the entropy. The entropy in the system, the change in entropy of the system. We all know that if there is change in entropy, it's going to be the Q over T. And that's if the process goes from 1 to now, the entropy will be S2 minus S1 equals to uh, CV dt over T. And that will be 1 to 2. Because at this other couple, Q is always uh, changing it and energy. Only Q is the CV dt. Now, we will have to that the T over T will be in. So that will be what? CV in T2 over T1. So that's how the process will look like. That's how the expressions will look like for constant volume process. Eka one example Now, they say that uh, they say that uh, here in a closed in a fixed vol in a closed vessel of fixed volume. What's okay fixed volume? Meaning that the system is uh, kept at constant uh, volume. So, no problem. It has at the pressure P1, 0.14. Hey, it has at the, at the fixed volume of, uh, it has at the pressure P1, 10 bar, at 250 degrees Celsius, P1, 250 plus uh, 273, that would be what, 523 Kelvin. Now, if the pressure falls to 3 bar, so P2, 3.5 bar. And we all know that 1 bar is what? 10 to power 5 Pascal or Newton per meter square. So, I can go back to my machine say, only find the final temperature. But, and because I she, I want to talk to you, need to know, I need to know, but I think I say she is mass of the air. So, I know. Because air is like a perfect gas, it's ideal. So, let's look at, uh, let's see how we can get the mass. M is equal to PV equals to MRT and M will have the equals to what? PV over RT. What's our P? Our P, the one that we can use here is 10 times 10 to the power 5. Hmm? Then, what's the V? 0.14. What's the R? Our R, I think I said it's a 287. Or 2.87 because it's a kilojoule. So 2.87, no, 4.287 times 10 is per 3. So the project kilo to convert it to joule per kilogram per Kelvin. So after that, we can use the paint. So the marker is faint, I need to replace it. That's why. So then, what's our T? Our T is a 523. So the whole thing will give us, uh, if I cut this one, it's going to remain 10 to power 2. What do we have here? So everything here is going to give us, uh, um, I think, let me quickly give it. This one will be 1. Um, 10, 10 times 4.4, this 1,000, that's a 140. 140, all over. And the answer will be what? Zero point zero one four 
0.932 kilo. Let's go for the final temperature. So we perfect gas in this case. Maybe P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. And that will be what? What's our P1? Um, P1 is uh, 10 times 10 is power 5 all over T1. T1 is uh, what? 250 or 520, sorry, sorry. Equals to P2. That's 3.5 times 10 is power 5 all over T2 that we don't know. T2 is equal to what? 3.5 times 10 to the power 5 times 5 to 3 all over 10 times 10 to the power 5. This one we cut off. And let's see how we can get this. So this one will now be 3.5. This one will be 3.5 times uh, 5 to 3. Divide by 10. Everything will give us a uh, 183.05 Kelvin. This one is as good as 183 Kelvin. So that's the answer for that. Now let's quickly change the heat supply. Heat supply. Heat supply will be what? Q. Q is equal to MCVDT. And if a mass in here is given as one, we will have just leave that L. But if you have the unit mass in we need to account for the mass. And that's why I calculated the mass the other time to give a 932 or 933. I think it's 932. So, what do we do now? We know that one to be what? 0 0.932 times what's our CV? 0 0.718 times uh, change in temperature now this time around. I think we got the 153, 183. So this one will be 250. The T1 will be what? 183 minus 523. So that's the change in temperature or something. Because that's the T2. So T2 minus T1. That will be what? Um, 0 0.932 times uh, 0 0.718 times. And it's minus 340. So that'll be what? Uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So this will be what? Minus 227.5 kilojoule. Kilojoule. Because that is nothing like kilojoule. Yes, kilojoule. So if that is the case, I can say that uh, it's going to be minus 22750 joule. Mm? In this case, there is a heat loss. There is a heat loss. And, because, and if you look at it, that, that, there is a drop in temperature. So definitely there will also be loss of heat because heat energy is just an energy that causes change in temperature. So there is a loss in the temperature. Now, you can have the change in entropy. Change in entropy. Be what change in entropy will be what? Um, S2 minus S1 will be equal to what? CV in T2 minus over T1. And that will be what? Um, what's our CV? 0 0.718 times uh, in Y83 over 5.23. So if that is the case, um, the answer will give us a minus 0 0.7, 0 0.705 kilojoule per Kelvin. Oh, we need to mind, we need to add the, uh, it's still going to be M. I forgot it to put uh, that M, so it's going to be times uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.932 times uh, okay everything will give us uh, 0 minus 0 0.7 uh, 
0.702 Lodo per Kelvin. So that's how it will be. So that's a 0 0.703. So I hope you found the video so interesting. If yes, please subscribe to our channel, like our video, and uh, like our video and make necessary comment, comments where necessary. Thank you so much.